Vocabulary. Compound. Ion. In our last lesson, we learned about atoms and elements and those subatomic particles which make up atoms and elements. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about what happens when you put atoms together. When you take atoms and you add them to other atoms in a chemical uh, reaction, you make something formed, what's formed as and known as compounds. A compound. What is a compound? Well, by definition, a compound is the chemical combination of two or more elements, two or more elements in fixed proportions. What that means is that a compound is the mixing together of two or more elements in, in definite ways. Let me give you an example. You should make sure and write this definition down because it's an important definition to remember. But I'll give you the example of carbon dioxide versus carbon monoxide. Carbon dioxide is a compound which you exhale. Every breath you take, you breathe it out. You exhale it. It is a gas which is harmless to you and which you regularly breathe out. You interact with it every day. Carbon monoxide, on the other hand, notice the difference. What's the difference between these two molecules? This molecule of carbon dioxide has two oxygens. This molecule of carbon monoxide has only one oxygen because there's no subscript on the carbon or the, or the oxygen here. You can know that there's only one carbon and one oxygen. And because there's a subscript here on this oxygen, you know there's two oxygen in this molecule of carbon dioxide. And so if we are looking at carbon monoxide, Carbon monoxide is also a gas. If you were to take an oxygen molecule away from this, from this carbon dioxide, it would become carbon monoxide. It's a gas. However, it's not a gas that you exhale. It's a deadly gas. It's given off from car exhaust fumes. You have um, monitors perhaps in your house which will measure the amount of carbon monoxide because what happens is when carbon monoxide levels build up because perhaps old uh, heaters or things like that in your house, that lets off a deadly gas in your house and eventually you start to get headaches, you would lose consciousness, and you would die from carbon monoxide poisoning. Very, very different. And so they are always in fixed proportions. What that means is that carbon dioxide is always going to be CO2. Carbon monoxide is always going to be CO. If you were to change the atoms within that compound, you've changed the compound itself. You have absolutely a different compound. Let me give you an example from also from real life which with some images here. What are you seeing here? Well, you are seeing here the uh, element of, pardon me, let me erase that, I'm misspelling it. This is sodium. And this is the element of chlorine. It's a atomic symbol is Na. This atomic symbol is Cl. When you put sodium with chlorine together, you get something known as what's that? It's crystalline. It's white. It's sodium chloride. It's table salt. One of the things you need to understand about compounds is that they're always going to be in fixed proportions in their elements, two or more elements in fixed proportions, but that these elements have different, different physical and chemical properties. Let me write that here to remember, remind ourselves. Different physical and chemical properties. And the, the way you can understand this is that sodium is a very reactive metal. 
if you were to eat sodium, you would it would burn up your insides, essentially, because it would react with uh, the water in you and would cause a violent reaction and would be terrible. If you were to take in chlorine, which is a gas, you would be poisoned because chlorine gas is poisonous. However, when you combine them together in a chemical reaction, make a new compound, something that's totally different, it's different because it's a new compound. It's the same elements put together in a new way, and when it's put together in a new way, it's salt. You put salt all over your french fries. You put salt on your green beans. You put salt all the time. You eat salt regularly. There's salt in all of your food. Why does it not kill you or burn up your insides? It's because it's a different compound. And because it's a different compound, it has different physical and chemical properties. Now let's move on to the next concept of our lesson here, which is the concept of the ion. An ion simply is a charged atom. If it's an atom and it's got a charge, it's an ion. In this atom here, let me remove one of these before we get started. This is an atom of lithium. And some very important things to be paying attention to are this charge counter here. Right now, there's an equal number. Notice there's an equal number of electrons and protons. When those numbers are equal, 3 equals 3, the same number, your charge here is 0. However, when you change the number of electrons, your charge will change. Notice what happens when I take away an electron right now. Here we go. Bye-bye, Mr. Electron. Whew. Gone. That electron is gone now, and we have a different number of electrons and protons. Please take note over here. We have fewer electrons than we do protons. What do you remember about electrons? Electrons are negatively charged. Protons are positively charged. When we lose electrons, we become what kind of charge? Notice right here, what's happening? Our charge increased. That's because you lose negative charge. You're losing negativity, and that causes it to become positive. If you were to gain a negative charge, let's put that electron back, what's going to happen to our charge? You're becoming more negative. Let me show you another example here with another electron. If we were to add another electron to this lithium atom, we're adding a negative charge, which means we are becoming more negative. When we become more negative, we are an ion now. We're no longer going to be referred to as an atom. We are going to be referred to as an ion because we are charged. If you are not charged, and atoms typically aren't, atoms typically are not charged, you can be referred to as an atom. But when you have a different number of electrons and protons, you become an ion because you have a difference in your charge because your positives and your negatives no longer balance. Lithium will frequently lose its electron and be in this state because this makes it happy. And if you want to know why this state of the atom is happy, you should be taking a chemistry class. But basically, this is a happy atom. It has a positive charge. It's a happy ion. It is a charged atom. So let's review. We talked about compounds. Compounds are two or more elements together in fixed proportion. Like carbon dioxide versus carbon monoxide. They have different physical and chemical properties. When they become a compound, like when you take sodium and you put it together with chlorine, it becomes sodium chloride, something you eat, salt, something completely different. will not kill you unless you take way, way too much of it. And then ions. Ions are charged atoms. This is Aaron Willems. Thank you for watching, and do your best to make a positive difference in somebody's life today.